Hello my dear viewers, how are you doing? I am doing well and today we're going to talk about how do I learn Korean language and what have I learned? It is the most important thing from learning Korean language. First of all, I want to say that uh, I found interesting new approach to learn something. It is when you actually see something new, really super new, for example, Russian language you kind of try to learn, or maybe you try to learn Korean language or Japanese, Chinese, also Tamil, Urdu, Hindi, Arabic, Thai, and other languages. When you have something super mega new, mathematics, for example, you are first time in mathematics, or you are first time in something like with new notation, nomenclature, dancing, dancing notation, music notation, bass clef, or maybe violin clef. You are trying to learn it, and it's, Jesus Christ, how to do this? The most interesting, the most kind of maybe productive, maybe not, but at least you invest your time and it matters. It is to learn, really, like read what you see. And that's all, really. Like, try to imagine that you are the super mega interested, super mega person who interested in this. Yes, I imagine that you are a kind of person who is the scientist and it is or archaeologist. Yes, archaeologist me method, we will call it. It is when you have super mega new thing and you try kind of to figure out what is inside, even not looking at something, because all the files are already in the past. All the t dictionary, thesaurus, uh, translations and uh, glossaries, they are in the past. You don't have these words in your life and you are trying to figure out by yourself, by looking at entropy, the, the specific term coefficient that determines the randomness of characters. Okay. Characters. For example, we see that in English language the most frequently frequently used uh, sound is E, yes? In Russian maybe O, oh, maybe, maybe, I don't know, actually, uh, t -t 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 I, but you know. And uh, length of words, for example, in English it is 4.9 symbols. In Russian, in different, uh, in different uh, sources we can learn it. 4.9, it is uh, the, the average that I learned on internet, it is uh, in English. Uh, le the length of words. In Russian it is 5.9, то есть more. Uh, uh, oh, I said something in Russian. It means more. It means more. То есть it is, uh, means in uh, Russian. And I started to learn by looking at uh, the symbols. Sometimes you don't understand. Sometimes you count them like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and etc. In, uh, in German you try to, uh, you try to, uh, to kind of play with it. You try to entertain yourself with it and it works actually then when you go to sleep you kind of start to think about them uh, every day you go to sleep or uh, <laughs> I think that, that you go to sleep every day and you kind of uh, try to memorize them through the sleep you kind of remember you recap your day what was happening and uh, what happened today and you kind of uh, go through these pictures of symbols oh I remember the circle or oh, I remember this vertical line horizontal line or oh, also maybe some strokes there we are and also something like horizontal line with two things also like a map looking kind of uh, square I found or trapezoid and I remember them it is amazing it is good and then you try to create sounds for them by your by your own for example you uh, well by the way tattoo <laughs> it's not real it's uh, from the specific bubble gum that uh, one person gave to me oh no it's not bubble gum it is stickers stickers from the storm we, we yesterday we yesterday bought, yesterday we bought some uh, I, I mean not stickers they gifted us for buying things and okay and uh, you kind of start to create sounds for them okay create sounds even in uh, music you read notation and you try to cre create sounds inside of you like eh, 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 <laughs> and something like this, yes. Uh, maybe it will be not really correct uh, in terms of reality, but you create your own universe of symbols. That's all. And uh, you are working on it. Next, uh, when you created your own uh, uh, kind of storage of symbols, you are actually maybe already will be interested in uh, learning how it works in real life. But okay, if not, Okay, you are continuing learning them. You kind of see already some patterns that are happening. Okay, 
maybe you will start to think about adverbs, adjectives, nouns, pronouns, and also some history, maybe some words, he, she, it, or, xor, nor, and other things. <laughs> xor, nor, xor, it is uh, from uh, programming, <laughs> actually. You start to think about different types of uh, formal language, informal language, during while you are reading. About names, maybe some names, Juan, Jok, Chikon, Chika, maybe something like this will be it. Zindu, or I don't know, it is a random name that I created right now. And uh, you kind of, uh, maybe will name somebody or something that you found here. Then you continue learning and you don't want again to learn something from internet you learn it by yourself you already created your own notation and then maybe in some moment it will be inspiration kind of the little spark maybe i need to learn it from the internet and you go to internet and already you have all the things memorized in your head kind of you know the notation and you are going to internet jesus christ it is easy to understand because it is like you are as an uh, english person yes english speaking person you already know Latin and when you know how Latin uh, pronounce kind of you can learn for example uh, Spanish yes and uh, then you go to German and uh, they are kind of the same almost a little bit pronunciation different yes uh, but actually some symbols that are familiar to you you are not super mega scared of them uh, as uh, for example uh, <laughs> this hieroglyphs and ideograms yes uh, uh, from uh, uh, actually hieroglyphs hieroglyphs from uh, Ch Chinese yes and you will be more uh, kind of familiar with them and it means that you will be kind of okay I, I will learn it. it is easy to learn and your mind will be kind of oh Jesus Christ it's uh, super mega easy it is you it is a uh, it is a uh, it is uh, something else it is uh, e a uh, a uh, o u and uh, etc yes and it is uh, d it is t it is k and uh, you are Jesus Christ it is easy and uh, then uh, you are going to be familiar with it then you step by step improving it it is kind of the method that works actually it turns you to work because sometimes the most hardest thing it is to switch to work on something not actually to work but switch but when you kind of daily trying to see symbols trying to do this i actually in i have uh, eight different channels on on Spanish, in, Sp in Spanish, German, Indonesian, also French, and coding, and Russian, Russian shorts, and English, I have eight different channels, and on, uh, on channels that are for Spanish, German, Indonesian, French, and coding, I actually, what do I do? I actually say random words in this, uh, in, in these languages, but actually, I daily, I notice how I improve it, really, I didn't know how to kind of count in German fastly, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, I didn't know it, but I, I recorded video every day, kind of counting from, uh, from zero, Zero to twenty, at least uh, from zero to thirty, and, and etc. Also doing ligishtutsa, it is uh, push-ups, and uh, I was doing it, and uh, then I started to speak kind of igwin glücklich, du bist glücklich, and uh, it is uh, I'm uh, I'm happy. Do, are you happy? Yes, and also I was started to speaking like guten morgen, guten tag, guten abend, schönen tag, schönen abend, schönen morgen, and uh, etc. I started to say these words, and they are already kind of stored in my mind. My mind doesn't think that kind of need to remember it or something it is the same as playing piano you played piano and uh, if you practice it daily it is kind of already you know the buttons where to smash and uh, to learn something new it is easier to you actually your mind will start working the most productive thing that works it is uh, to kind of entertain yourself through doing and if your mind kind of oh it is amazing it is funny uh, then your mind is going to learn it and uh, really and uh, the same with Chinese I d I started a little bit Chinese uh, <laughs> to learn not so much, but I actually remember two symbols already. Two symbols, amazing. Le and Dong. And uh, I uh, and also some others, but actually I don't know how to pronounce it. But I learned two pronunciation of things. Uh, also, I know. Also, I know. 
ma yes and it is mother and also or something else pronunciation nihao nihao ma nihao it is uh, hello nihao ma maybe pronunciation will be incorrect because i'm nihao ma <laughs> or something no, no it's not correct it's not it's not super correct <laughs> but actually you understand in chinese you need nihao ma 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 <laughs> nihao ma okay nihao ma Ah, ni how ma. Okay, so I need to train it. But actually, I didn't train it. And if I will, then everything will be fine. Okay, <laughs> Jesus Christ, circus in in the Russian room. And uh, <laughs> and okay, you kind of start learning this way, and everything will be fine. With languages, it works. With notations, it works. With mathematics, it works. I guarantee to you, if you will invest one hour a day. Only look at formulas, and that's all. You'll remember these formulas in kind of two weeks. You will uh, learn what is pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, decagon, rectangle, triangle, angles, and also squares, uh, rhombus, uh, parallelogram, and other features, and also some forms of uh, 3D. You will know areas of surface, also perimeter, and also volume, also vertices, and things of this nature. It is actually easy. Geometry you will learn you will be more familiar with it the same with uh, some formulas so with uh, different types of integration differentiation bijection injection surjection and also working with sets and subsets surjection injection and bijection it is from uh, from sets and subsets actually term from the from the image of set and okay and so you will be more familiar with these words actually if you want to be someone yes i imagine that you want to be for example your life goal or you create right now your for yourself fictional life goal like uh, fictional means uh, from fiction yes and you kind of think that you are the <laughs> the person who who is a president yes you are imagined to yourself and inside of your mind and uh, every day think what does president do uh, daily and to think of this way okay he does this 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 rules the country and uh, helps to people to grow too in the city in this uh, in this country yes to go forward with the country with the world actually yes and you think in this way or maybe you imagine that you are a piano player and you do every day what piano player does in terms of i imagine that you are super mega classical concert uh, maestro who does playing piano super mega well amazing and what do they do daily like how many hours they do they invest in something and start to invest it daily the same time of hour and in some moment of time you will be in the same level and or even higher if you will invest 30 minutes more or one hour more or one hour and 30 minutes more and then you will look at yourself jesus christ i am a piano maestro or maybe you are you want to be a showman or a dancer or maybe a painter start to do look at uh, pictures then start to draw it uh, you you look at the picture for example to uh, to my face yes so you look at this at this and you try to draw some lines okay cheekbones uh, kind of uh, only doing left hand uh, movements and it's so without a pen, uh, start to do this. At least it will be funny for 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 some moments. But actually, try to kind of on switch it on, switch your switch your inside of yourself the thinking about that you are this person you are trying to be not like effect till you make but actually it works in some terms for somebody yes uh, try to imagine really it's fictional game you are trying to imagine that you are the best of the best and uh, kind of uh, in in a good manner it is kind of uh, when you help others and you are the best and the best uh, and uh, you, you try to imagine that you are the best pianist or the best dancer and uh, try to act this way how do they act actually it is a cool tool to to become the person who is really this way firstly it will be not really nice then it will be better the same works with languages try to imagine that you are the most vocabulary fulfilled person in this language you are the most grammatically grammatically correct and uh, try to act this way and learn and also look at the symbols every day of this language and try to learn it and everything will be fine actually it is all about time investing and invested as an archaeologist as a person who wants to learn it and i imagine that you are really like a person who wants and everything will be fine
So, thank you a lot for watching. Hope that you enjoyed this video. Improve Saldelia. Everything will be good. Everything will be fine. And uh, everything, everything will be amazing. Have a good day. Improve Saldelia. Thank you. You are a nice guy or girl. Like hugging you. <laughs> thank you. See you next time. Bye.